Hola guys, Beginio, Beginios, Moit Beginios for all. <laughs> so in this video, I'll be presenting um, more examples on homogeneous functions. And um, if you recall the formula from the previous videos, I said that the function in terms of tx, ty, tz is or could be homogeneous of degree k if this condition is true. Okay, so we have to prove this one. Now, Example-wise, I've, I've made two examples, which I hope could be helpful. So I'm going to rub this out, and then we're going to do it together, okay? So, trust me, this is dead easy, guys. All right, so suppose, so consider the function. So this is example one. Consider the function in terms of x, y, z, three variables, is given by 3z plus x times y squared over z squared. Now we want to check if check the if it's homogeneous or not, and check what its uh, degree of homogeneity is. In other words, what the value of k would be. This would this would uh, identify its homogeneity. So first things first, we replace all parameters of tx, ty, and tz. So here's a solution. We need to find tx, ty, tz, and replacing each variable. This means we'll have 3 times tz plus tx times ty all squared over tz all squared. Okay, so it looks quite straightforward. So remember, we have to factorize t out and they should have a power assigned to it. Now, what do we have here? Multiplying all of this out, we should have 3tz plus, now this part, t times t squared over t squared. So... Okay, so let's do it out. So we're going to have t cubed times x times y squared over t squared times z squared. Now, cancelling out terms on this line especially, t squared and t cubed. So this will be cancelled and this will be changed to power 1. So we'll just have so far here. We should have um, 3tz plus t times x y squared over z squared and check it out if you factorize this out so what do we have at this point now factorizing terms we're going to have t outside and we're going to have 3z plus x y squared over z squared and voila as you recall see this this term here equals a function up here so this would be t times a function x y z and this is basically t to the power 1, so that means k equals 1. So this function has homogeneity of degree 1. And that's it. So now I'm going to present a second example, another example. Okay, so let's do example number 2. So, 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 so. Mm -mm. Okay. So example 2. So now in this one. Suppose, so consider another function again. So this might be probably even easier. So we're just doing two examples just to get your minds up to speed. So let this function equal x squared times y over 2z now. Okay, so once again, I'm checking what the value of k is. So this would be the degree for homogeneity. So replacing all variables of tx, ty, tz. My solution pen is always going to be red. So we should have function tx ty tz was it equal so it's going to be tx all squared times ty over 2 times tz you know it, was, it really helps use a bracket you know just in case we screw up somehow okay so so solving this i mean you can even like try factorizing now if you want really so you got one t and one t here so this t cancel this t so what we're left with Multiplying out, we're going to be we're going to be left with t squared times x squared y over two z, and straight away taking t squared outside, we're going to have x squared y over two z. And yes, of course it's easy. This function is this function. So this is t squared times our original function squared no question mark x y z. And yes, this would mean that k has is the this function has the degree homogeneity of two. And that's it. Easy kind of questions and 
I will try and show some proofs for the next ones. Okay, hope this helps and see you guys very soon.